Hang on, hang on. Oops. Hang on, hang on. Ah. One second, guys. Sorry. I've got I've got the uh the microphone here so that you guys don't get blasted, but it's wrapped up in my toy motorcycle. I have some amazing news here. I have some incredible news here in the junkyard. Okay. Y'all bear with me for a second. Okay, hang on guys. Hello, welcome, thanks for being here. We are going junkyarding today. Usually come out here to take pictures from my Instagram. Um, okay, went quiet. Are we, are we like, are we here still? Are we still here? Hang on, hang on. Wait a second. Okay, so, are we still here? Okay, how are we go? Hi, Terry. Good to see you again. So, are we still here? Okay, good. Holy shit. Okay, I shouldn't have said that because because now it's going to be in the recording. I have to remember not to swear. But this is a really momentous occasion. So, came junkyarding. Didn't expect to see much. Uh, really, really didn't didn't expect anything. And then, right upon walking in, can anybody tell me what this car is? Did not expect to see this. Very rare find. What's up, Callum? Good to see you. We are. We're having a junkyard freak out over a uh, very rare junkyard find at the moment that I did not expect to see. This is so rare that I don't even look for it, you know, when I go in and look and try and see what's, um, what's here. So it's Chevy Spectrum, but it's also better known in our Isuzu circles as an Isuzu iMark. Um, so this is, this is it, dude. This is the real thing. This is, uh, and unfortunately somebody's already scavenged the headlamps and, uh, corner lights. So, dude, Callum, my day is great. I appreciate, uh, you jumping in and saying hi. Um, this is a big deal. This, um, so this is, a this is an Isuzu iMark, badged as a Chevy Spectrum. This is a, um... It's it, it's in super rough shape. I don't know that there's anything really salvageable. Um, but uh, this was styled by Jujaro uh, originally. And, um, oh, there's some books and manuals on the other side. We might have to go through those. But, uh, yes, it's Italy. Um, Italy's Italian-style car was very, very kind of uh, advanced back in the day. Of course, I forgot my gloves because uh, I didn't really think... I didn't really think that there would be anything in here. It looks like there's honestly not much uh, to salvage from this car, but so rare, such a rare, uh, such a rare finding. Oh, this thing is trashed, poor thing. Oh man, it's bad. But still, some little uh, little elements. Like uh, actually, it seems like every light on this car has been bashed in. Um, there's really just not a lot to pick over here. How sad. Uh, but the steering wheel is a Jujaro classic. It's, um, it's definitely one that if you go and look at the old issues of car styling, uh, the, the steering wheel bucks were, this is an Isuzu wheel. I mean, it's just so cool to see it. Um, this was built in the Fujisawa plant, the same place as my, uh, my Impulse RS, uh, and Kyle's Amigo. Very simple gauges. <laughs> Very, uh... Just so cool. Uh, there is a radio. It's a Delco radio because back in the day, the the GM badged uh, Isuzu's got Delco Electronics as part of the agreement. This uh, these switches are um, Isuzu NPR switches. This stock is probably the same as in your Amigo. Uh, wow, just so cool. What a what a neat car. If you come in, you see the big C column. I mean, it's what is what a sweet, sweet car. Eh, so sad that it's been smashed, but uh, yeah, they're cool. They're just uh, it's just a neat little reminder that what we had is real and um, that uh, Isuzu is, is is serious. I don't know. Do you see that there? This is a 1987. So this I think is one of the first uh, Chevy Spectrums uh, out there. So very cool little moment. I just really didn't expect to see it, and I wish that there was something that I could salvage from it, like anything. Um, but really, there's not. There's, uh, it's just not gonna go. So anyway, um, huh? Well, there's that. Oh yeah, the the logo, the door logo type font. 
So actually, it's interesting because this um, this down here is uh, if you look at the impulse uh, font, it's actually almost almost exactly the same. Under the hood, let's take a look. This is the there's no. Well, that's the hood pull cable, but it looks pretty gnarly. Okay, Callum. Hey, thanks for being here. It's so good to see you. Thanks for sticking by while I geek out. Okay, rust. No gloves. Oops. Okay, hang on, guys. Let's see here. Let's see what we can do. Uh, we may be out of luck here. There we go. Ooh. Let's see. There we go. Uh oh. Ha <laughs> ha. That's that's no good. I don't even like what? Like how do what? What? Hashtag what? <sighs> yep, hashtag what? Yeah. Sad. But, uh, you know, that's the thing of some of these cars, and that's what makes uh, the surviving examples so exciting. So, we'll go for a little walk here. How have you guys been? What's going on, guys? I, uh, I do look every once in a while for... You know, that reminds me. I didn't, I didn't look... Uh, no, that's a, that's a 1.5 carb engine. It's a 1.5 carbureted engine. Um, I didn't even look up to see if they have geostorms, so uh, we'll see. But I kind of wanted to just come to uh, look and see what the, uh, they've got a new, um, they have a Suzuki uh, Swift here, and they have a new rodeo, they're new since, uh, <coughs> excuse me, since I've been here. So we'll go, I know that it's a little windy, I'm sorry, is it like real bad? Is, does this microphone do something to stop the wind, I hope? Yeah, there's such great stuff in here. There's like a, there's like a, ooh, look at this Montero. Fancy. Fancy. Yep, we're headed to the, it's not just a Trooper, it looks like it might be a Trooper Limited. I think I looked at this one. I think I looked at this one. I don't know. There's actually some... Interesting stuff going on in this, in this trooper. Yeah, I pretty much go through all of these Isuzus and try and rescue all of that when I can. Um, but they're pretty hard to find. It's pretty hard to find all that stuff, unfortunately. I still do. I still come. It's about 98 degrees out here right now, though. So I kind of make these trips quick. This store handle's locked. This one's been here for a little while. Corpus is... It's kind of hilarious that I came back home because Corpus was the strongest Isuzu retail market uh, in the U.S. for a long time. So you just see like the coolest, hottest Isuzus here. Um, those Isuzu graphics are still sweet. Isuzu Ombre. I think we need to take them. There's another trooper over there. I've already been through all these, but there is one new, um, one new rodeo that I want to see if I can find. We're looking for rows 208 and 209, I think. Yeah. Ombre. That ombre's got the, there's two different front ends. There's, there's a front end that's really cool on the ombre. And it's definitely different from like any, any S10. The differences in the back are very subtle, but I always find that for some reason I can spot uh, an ombre from like a million miles away and I think it's because of the colors the colors are so different you know so yeah it's it's a it's essentially like an s10 in the rear here's our uh whoa it's it, these latest the like very last rodeos are just so they look so Japanese like I don't I can't the two-tone ones this looks so JDM for some reason. I love this color combination. I actually saw one in this color combination. It was a Mew uh, in this color combo uh, in Japan. This is a stick. It looks like it's an S. Of course, the door handles aren't working. A 95 Isuzu regular cab, and that's cool. I wonder if you can do the 4x4 conversion on that pretty easily. Let's see here. No manuals. 
No manuals. This is kind of nice because I can kind of look underneath with my phone. That's good. No maintenance folio. I love that stick. I wish I had my gloves. I'd actually touch it and see what the uh, shift quality is like, but I'm not going to do that with bare hands. These have been kind of grody. Hey, look at these trick seats. That's cool. Trick seats. Somebody already decided to bash out the rear window. Well, that's okay. You know, interesting little little truck. So now we're looking for Suzuki Swift. Just found it. Yeah, Amigos are so rare though. So rare. Oh man, somebody just ruined this poor thing. Hey, it was here. Look at that. Yeah, there's a train. How's the audio quality? So here's what we came for, here, this, uh, oh, cool, nice little color there too, huh? Oh, it's in a sea of mud, it's in like a gnarly sea of mud. Yup, it's the real thing, it looks like it's from Memphis, that's what that says. These people who run this junkyard probably wonder what the hell I come here for. It's hilarious. Um, yep, it's a it's a Geo Metro. Well, the Geo Metro is a Suzuki Swift. How about that? How's that angle there? I gotta play with that a little bit. How's that look? Give me some hearts so I can screenshot this. Can I get some hearts? Preferably purple or Suzuki yellow. Thanks. Give me a couple hearts here, but guys, cool. So I can do a periscope screenshot. One more, hang on, hang on, keep going. Thank you. Cool. And then I, I wanna put one like right here too. I, I feel like it's pretty tenuous that it's not gonna hold, but it's doing a pretty good job, so. Uh, hang on. Hang on, guys. How's this? Oh, uh, I don't think it's gonna go. I think it's a little too... Let's take a look at the front here. What are you guys doing today? What are you guys up to? I'm just obviously just hanging out. I had some uh, freelance interviews that I'm trying to set up for the Corpus Christi Business News. That should go pretty well. Um, waiting for their call back, though, for this one. For this one. So... Wow, interesting, it's a, huh, she's eating your kneecap, oh my, that's, that's pretty out there, even for me, and I'm, I'm pretty, uh, pretty open, eating your kneecap, that's pretty crazy, this hood prop, prop is there, oh, it still has a Suzuki badge, hang on, we're gonna have to do this, we're gonna have to, you guys hang on for a second, because I'm juggling everything, but I, we're going to have to drop this hood, because it's, it's got the S badge on it. How to do it. That's interesting, it stays up on its own. I don't know that I want to close it, so it might not. There we go. Cool. How's that? Hang on, guys. Oh, this is going to be nice. I get some hearts so I can get a periscope screenshot. Let it come into focus here. This should come into focus pretty soon. Cool. Can I get some hearts here? Cool. Appreciate it. One more. There's all that train for you guys. One more. Hang on. Oh, well, keep it coming. Keep it coming. There we go. Cool. Appreciate it. Well, how about that? That's cool, right? Ah, oh, there's so much mud. I don't want to, like, ruin my shoes. I'll have to come back on another day to see if there's anything on the inside. It's just, it's literally, like, in the middle of mud. So, I don't think I can get back there. But if you guys want, we'll walk around a little bit. We'll see what else is here. I kind of didn't, uh, kind of didn't, didn't look. Where are you guys going to eat? Uh, Cobalt Skies, Eric, where are y'all going? Who else is in the room, by the way? Do we have anybody else here? We've got Weber Mac, man. Appreciate you being here, man. How's the video? It looks like super choppy on my end. 
looks super, super choppy on my end. There's a, there's an Axiom over there. Uh, it's a Hilux Surf. What else do we have? So glad to see you guys hanging out. There's another pretty rodeo. It's kind of embarrassing how many rodeos there are here. There's like, there's a billion. It's a really pretty Pathfinder. Yeah, I might be, I might be lagging a little. We might have to restart this here. Do you guys mind if we restart just to see if I can get some, uh, some better connection here? I'll be right, be right back. I'll see you guys in just a second.